Hello everyone and welcome to my second speed build of the Chips Summer Smash Tournament. Last video did very well and you seem to enjoy it, so here it goes again. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Chips videos, uh, the links are in the description. So as I won the qualifiers, uh, I'm now in the grand final against really talented builders as Dries, Burt, Makamex, Shrite, Tiny Maniac, Bert Andrew, Lundell, Skaters and Sven. And the theme was Theme Park, which is funny because I actually made a Theme Park hub a few months ago and I also won a build battle with the same theme for the YouTuber Ghouls. Except this time we're going for 10 hours. The road is going to be long but I'm sure I can make it through. So I had roughly some ideas for what I wanted to go for. Uh, on screen you can see some of some references images I used. I started with the ferris wheel as I know exactly how to do it and then I could build the park around it. My little tip for this session, uh, if you're doing round things, start flat on the ground and raise them up after. The way Fortnite handles rotations are different horizontally or vertically. Once the actual wheel is done, I made some custom capsules using benches and an upside down table to hang around it. Now that the central piece is done, I work on the actual shape of the rest of the park. Uh, I wanted a central lake where I could later add some attractions. I made a fancy entrance using the team leader make and that is the moment I decided that the theme for my park will be the theme leader make, season 9, the final showdown event, whatever. I really wanted a bouncy castle in my park so I used the parkour rails to make the structure and add some sunshades for the bounciness. I also wanted a circus and I have already done one before so I knew it would take less time for a great outcome which is very valuable in this kind of competition. Restaurants have a huge place in a carnival, so I wanted to have at least two big structures. So I handmade a dirt burger and a pizza pit restaurant and placed them in the entrance of the park.
Now that the restoration services are done, it was time to work on actual rides. I first made the ride called the Cobra that was inspired by an actual ride I have in a carnival near me. I made it with parkour rails placed one after the other to make the shapes I wanted. Add some cards and supports and the first ride rise. Before making other rides, I wanted to try if I could add some other attractions to fill some space. So I made the dev drop and the swing attraction. Now it's time for the Grand Bleu, a huge roller coaster at the back of the park featuring a loop, a wire, and a spinning drop. Don't forget the supports and the cart before we move on to the next attraction. Which is another coaster, a kid coaster, this time with a happy wagon and a simple slow loop around the friendly place. Times for a new ride! I wanted to have a water slide ride like the Pirate of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland, so I made the Lazy Lagoon ride.
as the theme of my park is team leader, I needed a team leader, right? So I made a little recreation of the final showdown when the robot took the zero point. So I made the vault gate and the robot with a broken arm holding a shiny orb. I also made a track that goes all around it before you drop into the vault. At this point my park attractions were done so I needed to work on the path and vegetations of the park. I added some trees and bushes all around the fences, and more bushes, benches, lamps, mascots, plants, rock, and a waterfall to bring more life to the park. Last thing to add was a parking lot to spawn in, and just like this, the park was done. Thanks you so much for watching, if you like this kind of video let me know by using the like and the subscribe button and I'll do more of it. Thank you again to Youngchip for this amazing opportunity, stay tuned for another video, uh, it was Cross and have a great day.